Traxxas versus Arma. It's one of the most popular RC topics, and today we're going to talk about it. As we look into these two companies, we'll check out their histories and see what they're all about. Then we'll check out their product lines to see what they offer you, and ultimately what they don't, so we can best answer the question, Arma or Traxxas. Now let's start this off by saying if you own a vehicle from either of these brands, you've already won. Both Arma and Traxxas offer some pretty awesome RC vehicles. I didn't say they were perfect, but they both offer some pretty great stuff. So how did we get here? Well, about 35 years ago in 1986, a little company called Traxxas was born. They had the idea of offering fully assembled hobby grade RC vehicles with a cool painted body that were ready to drive. At the time, RC cars were normally kits that you built and added everything else yourself. So for those who wanted to remove the car from the box and go play, this was awesome. And it did an amazing job at gathering new people to the RC hobby. Over the years, Traxxas kept creating more with vehicles of all different sizes and speeds in two wheel and four wheel drive, in electric and nitro for on-road and off, all aimed at making RC easy. Offering pre-assembled, ready-to-go RC vehicles sounds like a no-brainer today. I mean, most RC cars available right now are pre-assembled and ready to run, but back then, that was a pretty big idea, and Traxxas was the first to do it. Since then, Traxxas has gained quite a few firsts in the hobby, including their ready-to-run line of nitro vehicles. In 2009, when Traxxas was 23 years old as a company, Arma was created. They were the new kid on the block and mainly offered entry-level ready-to-run cars. This is the Arma website from 2010 and look at the vehicle showcase. These are all 10th scale, two-wheel drive, entry-level vehicles. And they're not bad cars, but that is not the Arma we think of today. A few years would have to pass before Arma would create their most important products ever, their 6S BLX vehicles. These vehicles were larger, very powerful, seriously aggressive aggressive and ready to run. It wasn't long before everyone wanted that 6S experience as newcomers and existing hobbyists alike took part in the next RC trend, bigger, faster, and more extreme. And the more Arma offered it, the more people ate it up. So naturally, Arma ran with this to now offer extreme vehicles for on-road and off with ready-to-run and EXB rollers available to spec out the chassis as extreme as you want. Which brings us to where we are today. This is the About Us page on Arma's current website. And this first line reads, Arma is a brand that defines high speed, super tough RC action. And yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. When I think of Arma, I think high powered 6S bashers. Now here's the About Us page on the Traxxas website and check out this sentence. Traxxas is dedicated to innovative thinking and fun designs that make it easy for anyone to get started in radio control. And that sounds pretty dang true too. Traxxas has created one of the most successful lineups of 2S and 3S capable vehicles, like the Bandit, the Slash, Stampede, and Rustler, which are perfect for people just starting out in the hobby. These platforms have been around so long, you're almost guaranteed to find parts at your local hobby shop. And Traxxas has their 8S, the 6S, and the 4S vehicles, which are extreme RCs, and these are the cars that people own always want compared to the Arma. But as I'm going to show you, these extreme RCs from Traxxas represent a tiny portion of what Traxxas has to offer. Here's a spreadsheet showing all the vehicles from each brand categorized by their respective power. The body color variations have been stripped away to keep this as clean and simple as possible. But you can see at the top for 8S and 6S cars, Arma blows Traxxas out of the water in terms of variety and selection with both EXB and RTR models available. Now if we move our way down the list to the more beginner and budget friendly 2S and 3S vehicles, we see the opposite it take place as Traxxas goes unmatched in this category. But wait, there's more. Do you want a nitro ready to run RC car? Because Traxxas offers them. How about a mini? Traxxas offers 1 16th scale vehicles in brushed and brushless form. Need a crawler? Traxxas offers quite a few. Looking for a boat? Traxxas has one. Need a drone? Yep, 
because Traxxas offers one under their Latrax brand. And to support you in your RC journey, Traxxas has created an entire ecosystem to make RCing as easy as possible, including a massive selection of drop fit accessories, their TKI transmitters and the Link app, the ID battery and charger system that works with the Live app, and of course, Traxxas offers a 1-800 toll-free customer support phone number that you can call seven days a week for help. Now these are excellent products and a premium service provided by Traxxas, but it does come at a cost. If we go back to our spreadsheet, in most cases, a Traxxas vehicle is more expensive than the comparable Arma vehicle. And this is a big reason why. It's expensive to offer all these products and services. For those that are just starting out new in the hobby, all those extra benefits may be worth it. But if you're an experienced RCer and you need less help, then it may not be. The usefulness and value of these products and services is going to depend on the base knowledge and experience of the user. Now switching back to Arma, we notice we don't have nearly the same breadth of different RC types. And instead, we see a company focused on one particular segment of RC, high-powered four-wheel drive brushless vehicles aimed at enthusiasts. To prove to you that the vehicles are always improving, each year Arma releases updated versions of their vehicles to fix any issues and then provides a version number to keep track. Arma also offers the Extreme Bash or EXB models that include option parts to make the vehicle as durable as possible, but all the electronics need to be added separately and then installed, wired, and program. A task best suited for an experienced RCer. It's also worth noting that current Arma ready to run vehicles are including Spectrum Smart Technology, which functions similar to some of the Traxxas systems, with the main idea being safety and easy LiPo charging. And it does a whole lot more than that, but the point is, it's a great addition for somebody just getting into the hobby. So with everything we've looked and talked about, I think it's safe to say that Arma is a company that primarily makes extreme basher RC vehicles, and they also happen to make beginner-friendly vehicles. Traxxas, on the other hand, is a company that primarily makes beginner-friendly RCs. And then they also happen to make a few really extreme RCs too. Some might say this is the balance in the RC force. Arma and Traxxas are both important companies, each offering something unique to us. Traxxas offers widespread variety across multiple categories, while Arma is laser focused on extreme bashing. But guess what? Not everybody wants that. At our shop, amainhobbies.com, we sell RC sailboats and people buy them. Not to put down RC sailboats, but we're all looking for a different RC experience and we should be grateful that both of these companies exist. So Arma versus Traxxas, which is better? Now with everything we've talked about, I think it's safe to say Arma is a great choice for those seeking a raw high-speed 6S experience with a large 6S variety of premium ready-to-run on and off-road vehicles to choose from and the flexibility of EXB rollers to spec out with your choice of electronics. Now for those who are seeking a massive selection of 2S and 3S vehicles, tons of drop-in fit accessories from a variety of aftermarket manufacturers, innovative tools like ID chargers and self-writing technology, plus a dedicated customer service phone number to call for help. Well then, nobody has been doing it as long as Traxxas. So what do you think, Arma or Traxxas? Let us know in the comments down below. Guys, I appreciate everything Arma and Traxxas have contributed to the RC community, and so should you. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and check out our other videos for more RC.